Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to show you how to decaffeinate coffee. Coffee contains caffeine, antioxidants and nutrients such as magnesium, potassium, manganese, niacin, and riboflavin. It stimulates the central nervous system and helps you to stay active, thereby releasing energy to the body. Caffeine is responsible for this stimulating effect felt after coffee consumption. Decaf coffee has some percentage of its caffeine removed through a decaffeination process. The quality and taste of decaffeinated coffee is dependent on the quality of the coffee seeds, decaffeination method, time of roasting, and consumption. According to the United States standard, coffee can only be decaffeinated by 97% while the European Union standard is 99.9%. Brief history of decaffeinated coffee. The first attempt at isolating refined caffeine from coffee seeds was done in 1820 by Friedlieb Ferdinand Runge, a German analytical chemist. He identified the mydriatic effects of belladonna extract. After seeing Runge's research on belladonna extract, Johann Wolfgang Goethe, a German poet, requested that he conduct research on coffee seeds. He separated the compound but was unable to grasp a lot about the composition of the compound. It was later identified as caffeine. He never used this process to commercially make decaffeinated coffee. In the year 1903, Ludwig Roselius, a German coffee merchant, discovered a method of decaffeinating coffee by accident. When his shipload of coffee seeds got soaked with seawater. This method involves steaming coffee seeds with water and salt solution, brine solution. And using the solvent benzene to extract the caffeine without changing the taste and flavor of the coffee. This became the first successful commercial decaffeination process and his work was patented in 1906. However, because of the carcinogenic effect of benzene, it is not used anymore for this process. Decaffeination process is classified into two. 1. Solvent-based or organic process. These are processes whereby caffeine is removed from coffee seeds using chemical solvents like ethyl acetate or methylene chloride. The organic process is further divided into two methods, these are the direct or natural decaffeination method. In this method, green coffee seeds are steamed for about 30 minutes to open their pores. Thereafter, they are continuously rinsed in a solvent for about 10 to 12 hours. The caffeine solvent solution is drained away and the coffee seeds steamed once more to completely remove any leftover solvent. The indirect or water processed method. Coffee seeds are soaked inside hot water for some hours to remove the caffeine, oils, and other flavors from the coffee seeds. Thereafter, the coffee seeds are then removed from the water and rinsed with a solvent for about 10 hours. Then they are steamed to remove all traces of the solvent. The solvent is used again to remove the caffeine in the water leaving behind the other constituents. The coffee seeds are reintroduced to the water to absorb oils and other flavors. 2. Non-solvent or inorganic process. This decaffeination process is done without the use of any solvent. It is divided into two methods. The Swiss water decaf method. This method uses solubility and osmosis to remove caffeine from coffee seeds. First, the coffee seeds are soaked in hot water to extract the caffeine. Then water is removed and passed through an activated charcoal filter whose porosity allows only smaller oils and flavor molecules to pass through. In the process, it traps large molecules of caffeine. As a result of this, we have coffee seeds with no caffeine and flavor in one tank and caffeine-free but flavored water in another tank. A fresh batch of coffee seeds is soaked in the caffeine-free but flavored water to remove caffeine leaving other constituents, oils and flavors, unchanged. Carbon dioxide method. Coffee seeds are soaked in water and are transferred to a high-pressured stainless steel vessel called the extraction vessel. The vessel is sealed, and liquid carbon dioxide is forced into the coffee seeds at high pressure of about 1,000 pounds per square inch. This removes caffeine leaving behind the coffee seeds and its other constituents. The caffeine-laden carbon dioxide is transferred to another container called the absorption vessel. The pressure is released converting the liquid carbon dioxide to its gaseous state. This gaseous carbon dioxide is drawn out from the container for future use. This method is expensive and therefore used to decaffeinate large amounts of low-quality decaffeinated coffee found in most stores. Health Benefits of Decaffeinated Coffee 1. Decaf coffee reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes. 2. 
It has a positive effect on aging and reduces the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease. 3. Decaf coffee reduces the symptoms of heartburn. If you've enjoyed this video, drop a comment below so we can know your thoughts. Also, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know once we post a new video. Finally, don't forget to check the description below for more details. Visit our site, zimcoffee.com for more awesome coffee content like this.